Hey, what's up traders? Here are my top stock picks going into tomorrow's session. The first one on our watch list is going to be Facebook. I'm going to break these down on the daily chart time frame. I will usually start my analysis on the daily um, and then work my way down to the smaller time frames. But here's what we've got going on. The big push up into the all time highs, slight pullback. And then today got an, another reversal move. This candle is known as a bullish engulfing candle where the body of this candle totally engulfs the body of this candle, signaling a potential reversal. Um, it's not trading at the all time highs, which is 358, but it's pretty close. It's not far off. So as of right now, I'm planning to take a long position over 355 for the run to 358. Um, if we don't get an open underneath 355, meaning if it opens up, closer to 358, then this will definitely become my trigger level. So ultimately the goal is a break over 358, right? Um, but it's going to depend on where it opens up at. Um, and as a result, that's going to basically tell me where I'm going to put my trigger level. So as of right now, I'm looking for a break over 355, but if we don't get that, or if we get an, uh, an open over that, it'll be 358. Simple all time high break on Facebook. Number two is Starbucks, SBUX. Nice bullish uh, day here off of the 50 EMA pushing to the top side. So it's had some trouble recently breaking over um, this resistance here at 113. So it was previously a support, 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 then flipped to resistance, resistance, and now that, now that resistance is being broken. Um, so I'm just looking for a continuation on this kind of breakout move that it's had recently over this downtrend. It's confirming that support at the 50 EMA. So from here, looking for a move over 113.5 for the run up to, uh, I'd probably say next resistance will be around 114.5, if not 115. All right, so SBUX continuation idea, long over 113.5. The next one on the watch list will be Netflix, NFLX. Uh, in all honesty, I probably should have put this one on the watch list for today um, because we've known that this gap area exists underneath 525 for quite some time. So it's been chopping around over that level, opened up today, we saw it pre-market, opened up today right at or, or right near the 525 price point and went immediately green. Um, that's kind of confirming that the gap area did act as a support and would have been a signal for us to take it long, but, uh, it wasn't on the watch list. It's not something that I caught today. Here's what's interesting about Netflix. Not only does it have a gap area below, but it also has a gap area above. And, um, this is the remainder of the gap that is to be filled. So a long idea over 537.5 could potentially send this up to 545 to continue to fill uh, the rest of this gap. So we'll be watching, a, um, actually over 537. We'll be watching a, a Netflix over the 537 price point for a break of this consolidation area and a push into the gap area overhead to fill it. Microsoft has been moving sideways uh, close to the all-time highs for a couple of days now. So a break over the um, 272 price point tomorrow puts this on ra radar for us. It, it wasn't really interesting all day long until close. So if it doesn't hold up and open up near 272, I'm not interested in it tomorrow morning. Um, but if it does hold up near that price point and opens up just underneath 272, I probably will put this on the watch list. Uh, if anything, I'll add it as a side chart instead of a, um, a main chart. Apple has been forming a major, uh, really big ascending triangle here on the daily chart. It's had one breakout, but um, didn't hold up. Big ascending triangle here, flat top resistance right at 137.5. It's right at that price point currently. So we're just looking for a break over 137.5 to see if there's any momentum that will flow into this stock to push it up towards the $140 level. 
uh, and then maybe up to 145 going into next week. All right, so Apple, we're looking for a break of 137.5. Tesla, our, our analysis hasn't changed on this one. I've broken this stock down quite a few times um, this week, and it just hasn't really done anything. A lot of range trading, a lot of sideways movement, and not a whole lot of direction. So the only reason I'm mentioning it now is because it's, it's still in play so long as it's trading within this range because we're still looking for the breakout of this range. So I'm watching this over 685 tomorrow, and I'm also watching it below 667.5. That's gonna be a gap area below, right? So it'll have, a, have the potential to, um, to fall into the gap area or the potential to reverse and push up to the top side of the, uh, of the range that it's been forming. Resistance, I have a line drawn at 700 because that's a likely level of resistance, but just kind of based off of where this price action is getting rejected at, it seems that 692.5 is the more relevant point of resistance. So if we took a long position over 680, oops, over 685 or 686, I think there's a chance it gets rejected up here at 692. So understand that that's going to be resistance one. Um, I've got one more here, SPCE. Uh, hopefully you've been kind of keeping up on this one with the uh, with the news that it's had recently. So a big gap up, 20% gap up here, major run, um, pretty close to the all-time highs, and then has since faded all the way off, right? Um, it is now back to the gap area with still a little bit more to fill, um, down to about 41.6 or 65. Um, so below 43, this is uh, this offers a potential short idea down into this gap area to fill the rest of the gap. However, if it validates 43 as a support tomorrow, there is the chance that this reverses and um, we see a move back up to the top side. So we were kind of expecting some sort of reversal today off of um, off of 44, and we got that for a short period of time, but ultimately it didn't hold up and wound up pulling back all the way to um, to 43. So from here, we're just looking for kind of a break of this downtrend. I don't know if we're gonna get it, um, but it is there is a possibility. So I'll be watching this one over 45 tomorrow. All right, so quick recap. Um, the watch list will include Facebook, looking for a break into the all-time highs, SBUX, looking for a break over 113.5. Netflix, looking for a break into the gap area, uh, top side. Microsoft, looking for a break into the all-time highs. Apple, we're looking for a break over 137.5. Tesla, uh, I don't think that we're gonna get a break of the range tomorrow, um, but we might get a directional move within the range. And then SPCE, uh, Either way, I'm not, there's no bias here. I'm either looking for a gap fill back down to the bottom side or, or a reversal off of, the, off of the gap area for the move back up to the top side. All right, um, thank you for your time. I hope that the video has helped you out. Press the like button for me, show me some love. Drop a comment, let me know if these are helping you out. I'll, I'll continue to do them if so, and I'll see you all in chat.